pipe. Again, hit the lines with the 180 flip so they don't uh, vibrate so much in the wind. Right here as well. Along with some gloves at the top to make sure my straps are good. For now, we're all good and tied up. Let's get moving. All right, so we just got loaded at this site, equipment rental site. We're about to head over to another one that's roughly about four hours away. But the good thing is, is that I'm just in my truck. I'm not hauling a trailer. I'm not killing my MPGs hauling a trailer. I'm just, just cruising. Uh, when I'm doing loads like this, I don't even feel like I'm working. I feel like I'm just gonna take like a day trip out and just go hang out, you know, get me a good lunch. And then I guess you could say like a simple reset because I'm not hauling a trailer. It's not hauling weight. Cause obviously this doesn't weigh that much and I'm just cruising. So yeah, let's, let's just cruise on to this next uh, destination, drop this thing off and see what, what continues from there. This is like one reason I love doing loads without a massive 40 foot trailer that if I miss my exit or if I miss my turn I can just take the next turn because I'm not I don't have that concern or that worry of um you know having to haul a big 40 foot trailer making sure I got enough room for everything making sure I don't, I'm not gonna hit nobody or nothing so it's pretty nice pretty nice just to be like legit just cruising and not have to worry about swinging wide or anything you know you still got to keep your relative distance and you know, all this like road hazards and stuff So one question I get a lot is what's more beneficial? A flatbed dually or a box bed dually? And to me it's all more or less just personal preference at the end. But if I have to choose and if I have to break it down why, I would go with the flatbed. Now again, this is my opinion, this is this is what works with me, this is what I like. And what how I came to own a flatbed, and this is why I'm biased towards a flatbed. Now I have had box bed trucks before, not uh, heavy duty this size, but just regular box trucks. I know how useful they are, but I like my flatbed. Now, some pros about the flatbed to me would be looks. I like the way they look. That's that's just me. Uh, toolboxes, how they're on the side and the bottom. Easy access to the toolboxes. Uh, easy access to the deck, the space it has. And um, tie down points along the side on the, on the rub rails. And yeah, it's just like little simple stuff. Like I know the box trucks also have like simple tie down points, but I'm pretty sure they, they can compare, but not as well as the the like anchor points like as if you're on a trailer like a flatbed trailer so those are some of the main reasons why i would pick a flatbed over a do over a box bed but then again it's all personal preference because in the end they would they still do the same thing and they still haul now that's uh why i would pick a flatbed over a box bed now if i had to choose between like let's say uh, a longhorn edition or a Bighorn edition or whoever the high class editions are for these ramps. I'm sorry, I just spaced out right now. But um, I have a Tradesman edition. Uh, what I like about the Tradesman edition from what I know and my personal preference and, well not my personal preference, but what I can experience from this is I like how the floors are vinyl, the seats are like leather or whatever. Uh, if you spill coffee, I spilled coffee in here before. I've, I've done the whole nine, you know, water, soda, just being on the road, just accidentally spill it. And it cleans up pretty simply, pretty easy. Um, 
mud and you can just hop in hit in and out with the mud you can also just clean it off simply and easy it's not rug you're not worried about it bear you know you don't care if you get like a little ding or scratch because it's it's a it's a work truck i i like i baby my stuff to a certain extent but i don't like also don't don't mind using it for what it is so yeah that's just me um Leave a comment down below what you think would be better for, for hot shots for your situation. Uh, box bed or flat bed. Um, give me, let me know some reasons why. And again, to me, in the, in the end, it's all just personal preference. What would you like more? Um, well, another benefit for a box bed would be you can just throw anything in the bed and not worry about it rolling off the side because it's boxed. But yeah, anyways, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Now, let me go and finish and offload this thing. So we can get on and get out of here. successfully offloaded here um, one thing I wanted to mention right before I left the video no matter which truck you decide to go for whether it be the flatbed or the box bed when you go to try to make the deal for it whether new or used um, try to see what type of warranty you can get on it of course what type of maintenance you can get on it maintenance package you can get on it and just make sure whatever you get it has 410 gears in the back because those those are the gears you want the gear setup you want but anyways remember just leave a comment down below let me know your opinion let me know why and um yeah until the next one remember to like comment subscribe let me know what you think uh follow the instagram j.j.j.hotshotservice and yeah catch on the next one